Hello everyone, I'm Jacob Kaufman, I'm the Internet in the Street, and today we are updating my phone to CyanogenMod 13. So a couple of weeks ago, I noticed that CyanogenMod 13, which is the Marshmallow version, Android 6.0, had been pushed to my device. A nightly build of Cyanogen Mod 13 had been released for my LG G2. Just to recap from previous videos about the G2, this is a great phone and I love it at least twice as much because I have Cyanogen Mod running on it. It gives you that stock Android experience like a Nexus phone, but even better because Cyanogen Mod has a lot of privacy features built in that even stock Android doesn't have. So yeah, a few weeks ago Cyanogen Mod 13 was released for it. And yeah, as soon as I got downstairs in the morning, as soon as I got up and came down here and saw that Cyanogen Mod 13 was released for this device, I immediately started the camera and started the microphone and I made a video on how to upgrade your phone. Um, just to sort of show you what the upgrade process is like if you're using CyanogenMod. You know, if you're using AT&T or, or Verizon or whoever's version of Android on your phone, if you're using stock whatever your phone came with and you have an Android phone, chances are there's a lot of carrier bloatware on your phone. And chances are that when a new Android version comes out, you have to wait a long time before you get to see that new version. Officially, the LG D2 should still be on Lollipop, but yeah, I got to upgrade to... Uh, Marshmallow fairly quickly because I'm running Cyanogen Mod. And it's a really easy upgrade process that I go through, um, not just when major Android upgrades happen, but I try and update the device about every week. I just download the latest nightly and the latest Google Apps package. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you how I update my device, just in case you're thinking about trying Cyanogen Mod and you're not sure what to expect. Alright, I did not expect to be making a video this morning. As you can see here, I am currently on my Android phone. A couple of apps just got upgraded. Thanks Play Store for opening. Um, I've got AirDroid turned on. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect that. And the reason why I am making a video this morning is because Cyanogen Mod 13 just got pushed to my device, which is awesome. And I am going to go ahead and install that. So the process that I go through when I upgrade Cyanogen Mod on my device, which I try and do on a regular basis once every week or two, um, what I do is I go here and I download the newest Cyanogen Mod package. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So it's downloading Cyanogen Mod 13, which, by the way, if you don't know, Cyanogen Mod 13 is the Marshmallow version. So I have been on Lollipop 12.1, but yeah, Cyanogen Mod 13 is the, the brand new um, Marshmallow version, and I'm really excited um, about it. What I do when I upgrade Cyanogen Mod is I download the latest Cyanogen Mod package. And while it's downloading, or before or after it's downloading, you also need to go online and download the latest gapps package. Now, for a long time, this wasn't actually something you had to do. Um, for a long time, you could just leave the same gapps package on the device for a long time, and it would work um, while you were updating CyanogenMod. It would continue to work. However, recently, I have had to reinstall gapps, the Google apps, um, every single time that I updated Cyanogen Mod. And upgrading major versions, you're definitely going to have to reinstall gapps. So yeah, I went ahead, I downloaded the latest nightly of gapps. This is the latest nightly of Cyanogen Mod. And so I'll show you in a moment what the process is for this. So we are just about done. All right, apply update. Now, um, this this box, if you if you press update, the device will restart itself in recovery mode to install the update. That's true. It will restart itself into recovery mode. Now, Cyanogen Mod is actually supposed to install the update for you. You're not actually supposed to have to um, install the update manually. However, I have always had to install the update manually. As you can see, I'm using Twerp, and you might have just seen a console flash there. So what I always see is checking for MD5 file, no MD5 file found, zip file is corrupt, error installing. Um, so that always happens when it tries to automatically install the update. However, if you go and you click install, and you just navigate to the folder, um, CM updater, there's the file I just downloaded. And if we go and we do it ourselves then we can go ahead and just swipe flash and it'll actually work. So I don't know why it doesn't work automatically, but it works when you do it manually. But um, that's just the way it is. So yeah, um, now we are installing that flash 
um, now we are flashing that zip file. Sorry, like I said, did not prepare for this video a whole lot. I was just super excited, and this is one of the reasons why I like CyanogenMod. I am getting a new phone in a matter of days, but that new phone doesn't even have Marshmallow yet. The LG G2, probably never going to get Marshmallow officially, but CyanogenMod gave me Android Marshmallow really quickly. Compared to other flagship phones, or compared to actual flagship phones that were released this year, my phone, which is several years old, got the latest version of, of Android first. Alright, so after you flash that, it's a good idea to wipe your cache. So we did that. Then we'll go back, and we'll go home, install, and then we'll navigate. Oops. Oops. Um, crap. SD card? Yeah, there we go. Uh, we'll go to our download folder, and there's the OpenG Apps ARM that I just downloaded, and we'll install that, and that will install the Google Apps, Google Search, Google Now. I could do without Google Now, but um, it'll install the Play Store. I really do need the Play Store, and um, I think it installs Google Maps. It might just install the Play Store. This is the nano version, so it's the second smallest version, second most minimal version of the Google Apps. I've considered um, using CyanogenMod without the Google Apps before. Um, that would be interesting. But yeah, I kind of, since I already had them installed, I needed to update them. Um, it won't just remove them not updating them. Um, if I had started this device without updating G Apps, then it would have just thrown a bunch of errors every time I tried to do anything, basically, about the, the Google Apps force closing and running into errors and stuff. But yeah, um, Cyanogen Mod is awesome. Yeah, flagships released this year don't have Marshmallow yet, and um, my phone does. And this phone got Lollipop really quickly too. It's just updates come really quickly to Cyanogen Mod. Now I'm expecting this to be buggy. Um, it's important to note I am on the nightlies of Cyanogen Mod. Um, I think the last stable release of Cyanogen Mod for this phone was actually back on ice cream sandwich so yeah that's you know they've really stopped paying attention to stable builds and really your only option now is to use nightlies if you want updated software but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and wipe the the cache again just always a good thing to do and then reboot system I probably could have done with just wiping the cache after the second install but um, you know it's not gonna hurt anything doing it twice all right, so we have a boot screen. That's awesome. Really happy with Cyanogen Mod. Um, I am expecting this to be a little buggy because it's the first release of Marshmallow on this device. So it's kind of uncharted territory, even for the people making Cyanogen Mod. I really, really appreciate all the the work and effort that people put in to making Cyanogen Mod. This is a community effort. Um, you know, it's an open source thing. Uh, the LG G2 is not even, I don't think, officially supported by by the CyanogenMod Mod team. It's just developers in the community um, who have this device or who know people who have this device volunteering their own time and effort um, to make something. So that's awesome. So the boot is taking a little while. Um, I'm just hoping I don't break my phone at this point. I can download an older version of CyanogenMod Mod if I need to and reinstall that, although I did just delete all of the older zips off of this device, so I would have to find another way to push those files onto the device, which would stink, but it's going to be a really anticlimactic video if this doesn't work. There should be an Android is upgrading dialog box at some point. So we'll just let that go and see how long it takes for that to un- Oh, there we go, alright. Android is upgrading. So now it's going to go through and optimize all of our apps for um, the latest version of Android. I'm not sure what optimizing actually means, but this is just something that it always does when you upgrade Cyanogen Mod. I will say this is taking longer than usual on the upgrading process, but like I said, the first boot took longer than usual as well. I'm sure that it has to do extra work when you're changing between major versions of Android. Alright. So here we are. Um, I can tell the font changed in the clock. We're getting a no SIM card error, so that's never good. But we can go ahead and unlock the device. Alright, um, everything's working. Um, haven't gotten any G apps errors yet. 
so that's good. Alright, SIM card. Looks like the SIM card is being detected. Oh, I don't have the, the SIM card widget in there. But, yeah, we do have bars now. Um, Chrome has been removed. No, not Chrome. Something. Messages app has been removed from our home screen. The widget's just all unloaded. Oops. Scroll down to the bottom there. About phone. Um, of course, there's no signage about updates. Um, Android version 6.0. Um, all right, there we go. Oh, did they make this more difficult? Oh, maybe they made it less difficult. Wow, this is the farthest I've ever... I feel like they made this less difficult, because I've never gotten three before. Yeah, they must have made this less difficult. Okay. Uh, well, I got three. So, um... Yeah, so we're definitely on Marshmallow. So yeah, I'm really excited to try out Marshmallow. I just wanted to make a video about this to show you guys what it's like using CyanogenMod. When a new version of Android comes out, it does take a couple months um, for it to be pushed to your device normally. Or at least my device, but yeah. I um, just wanted to show you that is how you upgrade CyanogenMod. And now I'm running Marshmallow, so that's awesome. Kind of annoying that a lot of the new features were already in CyanogenMod. Mod. Um, so hats off to the CyanogenMod Mod team for beating them to it all. And yeah, um, yeah, I don't know. Just this is the new version of CyanogenMod. Mod. So yeah, I'm gonna go enjoy this now. As you can see, no Google Now um, to the left of my home screen. Um, we do have Now on Tap. Yeah, see, I don't want Now on Tap. I don't want that. So now, alright, so if you click not now, then uh, holding down the home button will just open up Google Now, like it has in the past if you swiped up from the home button. Now it's just a long press. Um, so that's great that you have the option not to use um, Now on Tap. But yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's Marshmallow. So I'm Jacob Kaufman, I'm the Nerd on the Street, and I will see you guys later. Bye.